Hey everyone and welcome back. Today is the KatsuCon haul. Um, so, I spent an absurd amount of money at Katsu and I have a ton of things so I'm not gonna delay this. We're gonna jump into it starting with the artist app. I'll start with my charms. So we'll start with a simple one right here. Uh, this is just a really cute keychain. Um, they had it where you could just create your own and it was like five dollars and you got to pick two characters so I was like well, let me put my boys Kato and Ray on there and it was a good time and then I got this Yohane charm it was the only Love Live Sunshine charm in the artist alley that had Yohane there was like one other artist who had um, sunshine charms and I think they sold out of Yohane on Friday I didn't ask um, but they had the Majuku Dreamer ones, and I would have really liked that. But this is so cute, and it's glittery. It's the Valentine's Day set. And on the back, she's winking and sticking out her tongue. It's so cute. I love it so much. She's gonna go right on my back. And then I got this Mina charm. I got this one on Sunday, so this is like one of the last things I bought. But it's so cute, and it's sparkly too. I love the little glitter in there. Um, and then on the back she's like all happy and stuff, it's so cute. And, and like, can we talk about like the clasp being a heart shape? That is the cutest. It is so cute. I love this charm so much. Speaking of Mina, I also got this dog Mina. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh man. Um, so my friend Lexi has the All Might one and I didn't realize there was a Mina one and I also didn't know that they were going to be at Katsu so I got really excited to see the Mina as a dog. Oh, she's so cute. Then, um, these are from the same artist so I'll do them together but I got this Chibiusa Cafe Chibiusa pin, or not pin but charm, um, and it has Pegasus. Oh my god, and Luna P, and the, oh, everything, I love it. Um, and then I also got her Halloween Chibusa charm, and it's see-through orange, and it's so cute. It's so cute. Um, these, I actually had seen the artist before at Colossal Con, so I had her Black Lady charm, as well as several of her buttons, but I also bought some prints from her but you will see in a moment. I love her art so much. It's so cute. It's so cute, look at it, oh my god. And then for some enamel pins, I was surprised to see so many, but there was only a few that I actually wanted. Um, these are from the same artist. And of course I got, <laughs> I got Chibi Yusa, or Chibi Moon, um, and I got Black Lady. So, it's so cute. And then this was a gift from Jay, and I saw this in the artist alley, and I almost cried, but I was like, I've got to come back for that later, because I've been spending too much money really quickly. Um, but it's from Revolutionary Girl Utena, and this has granted me the power to bring the world revolution, and I love Utena so much, and I just... Ugh. Now, as far as prints go, I'll show you the first one I got. This is Princess Tutu print. It's nice and simple. Um, I love Tutu so much. It was actually the only Princess Tutu print in the entire Artist Alley. Um, I wasn't expecting, you know, to find any Tutu stuff. So I'm really glad that I got it. And then to go with those two charms, I ended up buying three of her prints. I got this Cardcaptor Sakura one um, with Sakura and Tomoyo. And they're so cute. And Kero. So cute, Kettle John. <laughs> and then I also got her Little Witch Academia print. So cute with Akko and um, Lotte and Sushi. <sighs> and the shiny rod in the background. It's so cute and so, oh man, I love Little Witch Academia. And the last print I bought was this one. It's the Sailor Moon print and it's sparkly. Can you see the sparkles? Yeah, you can. And it has, the inner sunshine on it with Sailor Moon in her eternal form. It also has Prince Endymion and Helios and Chibiusa. I'm not gonna lie, I mainly bought it for these two. <laughs> uh, but it's so pretty and I love her work so much. So check out, check out Channel Square. 
That's storeenvy.com to go look at her work. All right, so that was it for the artist alley. Now we're gonna start with the dealer's room stuff. So I got a few charms. I got this um, swimsuit, Yohane, and I'm not usually like for like the swimsuit charms, but this one was, was super cute with the little beach umbrella and her little black swimsuit and her strappy little pink shoes. It was just really cute. And it was also like one of the only Yohane charms that I could find in the dealer's room, so. I also got the Happy Party Train Yohane charm, the rubber strap. Um, Jay actually bought this as well as this Kato charm that I only really got because I actually have the ray that matches it. So those are gonna go in my bag. Um, but these were a Christmas present from Jay. So they were like, I'm gonna buy you something for Christmas. And I was like, they're two for 15. So they got me these. And the last charm I got was actually a struggle for me to get, um, mainly because my card was being weird. But it's this Mina. Look at her. She's so cute. She's also magnetic. Yeah, see? Magnetic. <laughs> But it's so cute! I'm like, there's like no official merchandise out there for Mina, so I was really excited to see this. Like, what the heck? Mina needs more love. So I was trying not to buy On Stars merch since I'm kind of fallen, I'm like, I'm not fallen out of love with it, but it's just, it's so much. Um, but I did see the laying down little block ray, and I was like, you know what? For the price that it was at, it wasn't bad, so I went ahead and got it. Um, so it says the little block, it's just a cube, but it has his Undead logo on it. It's just a little cube. And then the Ray, he's, he's, he's happy. He's, he's having a good time. And it has like all the details, even though you, you don't normally wouldn't see that, because it's laying down. But it has like a lot of details. And look at his booty. His booty. Shake the booty. So, I had told myself when Love Lies Sunshine started that I was only going to do, um, if I was going to get merchandise for Johanne, I was only going to either get figures or eat a, or do an eat a bag, and I ended up going with the eat a bag, and Kasukan just threw that through a loop because, you know what, I, I, can, I, need, I needed her. It's so cute. Like, I had seen it at other conventions, but it is just so freaking cute and like this is one of the few figures that actually look good. I don't know what's going on with Love Live Sunshine that the figures are just kind of bad. But it's so cute and like there's so much detail. And I'll show you the base in just a second. And like it's she's on one leg. But on the bottom it says Tsushima Yoshiko and it tells you what song it is. It's the Awazora Jumping Heart, which is the first opening. Um, but she's really cute and like very dynamic pose-wise, so. And then because I'm a glutton for punishment, I bought another one. <laughs> I only bought two. Um, Yohane figures are expensive because she is the most popular girl in uh, Aqua, which is unfortunate for me I always end up picking the really expensive ones um, but this one's really cute it's her and her school uniform again it's one of the better looking figures mm. this one down at the bottom it just says Yoshiko and it says love life sunshine I also did get a new Ida bag. It's one of these ones. Uh, I got this from inside the dealer's room and it's really cute. And I really like the lacing. This is going to be my replacement Yohane bag. Um, it's pretty good so far. I had to shove figures and stuff in it because I bought way too much to actually fit in my suitcase like a fool. So, And I like the fact that it's black and white. Um, even though it's not by the original designer, I do like the fact that it is black and white because it's going to be my Yohane bag, and black is what the color that she prefers to wear, but white is her image color, so. And it does have um, this window right here, which is really, really sparkly, which I'm not a total fan of. 
but it does have two zippers on the side and one is for the pocket and you could fit quite a bit in here like that's right here that's just the pocket so you could actually like have like 3d charms in here which would be really nice um, except I really don't care for 3d charms but I've got plans for this um, you will probably see me update my Johanne bag uh, that will probably just be like an, uh, a video that I throw in when I have no ideas for other videos so so on one of the weirder purchases that I've got um, I happened to be walking by and I saw this doll and it's from Magic Night Rares but there was a sticker on it that said that it was like $20 <laughs> and I was like excuse me <laughs> I don't go here but uh, I collect dolls if in case you guys had forgotten I do still collect dolls I just don't talk about it very often um, but this is from Magic Night Rares um, and this is a doll from like the late 90s, early 2000s at best. I don't actually see like a copyright date on it at all. I'm not removing her from the box just because this is such an old doll. Um, but this is Hikaru um, from Magic Knight Ray Earth. It's an older clamp series. Um, I have it on good authority that this is actually a really good clamp series. And from what I remember of it, um, it is a good clamp series. I've only seen like a couple episodes, uh, mainly because it was my brother, my elder brother, who had it. So, and that's what she looks like in the show and all that. And then on the back, everything's in Japanese so I can understand it, but it has Fu, Hikaru, and Umi on the back. Um, and then, yeah, I just thought it was neat. Um, again, $20 is not that bad especially for older merchandise like this and like I collect magical girl stuff it's good time and then I also got this Helios um, figure he's really tiny and he's so cute um, actually this comes in like a set of five and I had seen the set around being sold all together and it was like $60 for all five of them which isn't bad um, but I only really wanted Helios, and so trying to buy all of them, um, cause you get Chibi Moon, which I also love, but I'm not a huge fan of the actual design of the figure, but you also get the Amazon Trio, and I do not care about the Amazon Trio, like, at all. I am all about the Amazon Quartet. Um, but it's just this little Helios figure. I also tried my luck at a couple blind bot or a couple blind boxes I don't have to show um, for one of them but I do have this one I tried for the love live manju I got Hanamaru which is fine because I do love Hanamaru she is like my second or third best girl um, it depends on the day the other one is Ruby I love the first years but I do have a friend who really loves Hanamaru and so this is gonna go to her it's really squishy in comparison to like the OnStars homage um, this one's really squishy so <laughs> I got the big Nezo Berry Nezo Berry I think is the name of this plush of Yohane um, she's in her winter uniform it's just like the one that I have on my bag um, except it's big and I had to decide between this and the smaller one of the Omoyo, Omoyo Ni Hitotsu Ni Nare, that song, <laughs> I'll correct myself. I had a choice between the two and while I did like the other outfit better, I did want a big one of her just to go with the Maki that I have. Um, so she's cute, she's big, uh, I love her so much. I've already ripped the tag off so she don't have a tag on anymore. Yeah. And then the very last thing. I bought this on Friday. It was one of the first purchases that I made. Um, but I definitely, somebody had the new transformation item from Hogato Pretty Cure. Oh, I don't know how I feel about the series so far. Only two episodes in, or yeah, three episodes in, sorry. Only three episodes in, and I'm not a huge fan of like the baby and the fact that they have to keep taking care of this baby but I'm going to watch it and stick through it because otherwise I'm going to have to watch it again later. So, um, but I have the, the little transformation phone compact thing and it does the neatest thing. Look at that. That's cute. It turns into a heart. Um, this actually comes out 
and then you can put in any of the little crystal gems and I got the deluxe version they had the plain one that only came with um, Curiel's crystal and I was like that's $30 cheaper however I love Cura 12 so and I love Cura Ange so far I love Curiel too but she's not my favorite so but I also did put batteries in so so in this one the game mode is without any of the things versus the um, sweets packed which had like an actual game mode like switch but all you do is I'll show you yell And when you switch it back down, it goes back down into game mode. And here's Kiraj. actual game mode on here um, but the neat thing about this one is is this isn't actually like a button like these are like these three are buttons but this you just put your finger to it and it does the thing my favorite thing about that is that it turns into a heart I think that is the cutest obviously they're gonna come out with more of these little jemmy doodads they've already announced in the show that there's gonna be six Mirai uh, future crystals or Mirai crystals so there's gonna be six of these there's three right here so there's obviously going to be three more of these um, that'll work with this um, I probably will not get them because I'm not a huge fan of this series so far but I'm hoping that will change um, we we all are aware that Hagutan is going to become um, a precure we, we all know that it, it's the way pretty cure goes it's going to be a precure um, <laughs> but yeah I was super excited to find this um, I wasn't expecting to see the transformation item from the new series so quickly, um, but I love it so much, and I love these, and I'm going to put this little back in. And like he has a little hug tan. Hug tan, right there. With that, I will see you guys next time. Uh, my Katsukon vlogs will start next week, uh, so I'll see you then. Bye!